everybody. Welcome to a yet another very, very special episode of Esoteric America with our, one of our favorite guests. Tamara is always a breath of fresh air. She's a light in this dark world. You guys love it. I love it when she's here. And man, oh man, does she have some information to share today. All right. Yep. Uh, oh boy, do I what? Okay. Now, everybody. Okay. The 12th of June. The 12th of June, two days before Trump's birthday, planet Mars commenced a transit through Leo and it stays until the 30th of July, okay? Mars in Leo. Mm -hmm. Have a guess who has Mars in Leo in his natal chart? I'm going to say Donald Trump. Donald Trump, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so so and and July is the month. Those those of you that have got onto my monthly like little talks, um, where I had July and you. So that's on my Instagram and my Facebook. By the way, I'm in Facebook jail at the moment. <laughs> Look, I'm in Facebook jail. They shut me in jail. It's like I went off. Holy shit! But do you know what? It wasn't anything that I po I reposted something from somebody else. So I have got away with not being in Facebook jail all the way through and I have posted some curly stuff, let me tell you. Anyway, so um, so July and you is up so people can go and they can listen to that, okay? Now, with the Mars in Leo, once we hit the 1st of July, we went into an energy vibration to do with communication. Huh. So I go, right, Mars in Leo is being activated. Mars is in Leo in his chart. The month of July is communication. Okay, he's going to start. He is going to start. And the month of July, it's like he is just going to be full on with the communicating. So I'm not sure when his first, um, when was the first big rally that he had? He's oh, had three, gosh. didn't he? I mean, maybe a month ago, a couple of weeks ago. I'd have to go back and look, but yeah, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's when this Mar the Mars went into Leo. I go, he's going to be on the move. Yeah, right? he's going to yeah. be on the move to this now. On the twenty third of July, ha uh ha. -huh. How it's long ago? Saturday, the twenty third right? of July. Yep, yeah. the sun goes into Leo. So what is that? The Mars is still in Leo. The sun is going to go into Leo. And what I got, I said to upstairs, I went, okay, right, what is this going to be? And they said, the lion will start to roar. And his roar will be heard until the 23rd of August. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be heard until the 23rd of August because on the 23rd of August uh, we're going to have the changeover into Virgo. So like amazing. Now, August is the energy vibration of death and transformation. So we're going to be experiencing the death of the old to transform into the new. Now, this applies to everybody and everything. So people are going to be transforming that month of August. So I was talking to you before about, you know, like, okay, like what exactly is going to be happening to people who are not awake yet? Like what is, going, what, what is that going to be like so that all of those that are awake that are, and I tell you what, you have got so many master soul people the people that i've read for like hello all of those people hello i love you all i've had a, i've had a ball with you all and i've still got more to come right so the rest of them be patient you're all you know you're locked you're all locked in for you know for your appointments but it's like but they're all ready now because by me explaining what their souls are all about and what they've come here to do 
then I've gone, right, so you've got to look into this area here or this area here because this is your natural talent as far as your chart energy is concerned. So you've got to channel your energies in, in a way where you are being used to the nth degree of your soul's vibration, yeah? So, um, yeah, so death and transformation. So as people, we are changing and, and August is going to be the month. And it's going to be no, not doing that anymore, not doing that anymore, not doing that anymore. And it's going to be this, 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 yeah? And if people are not waking up, it's called, sorry, I've got to look after me. So right. this is really, really important because then as we embrace the month of September, and September is always the doubling up of the year's vibration, right? So the month of September is always a very, very powerful month. So September is the energy vibration of freedom and change and variety and travel and movement and people and communication and communication and communication. And it's really interesting because this particular year, personal, the year for the world, is the, is the energy vibration of America. And September is a doubling up of that. So we're going to have a double whammy that's going to be happening that month of September. So August, huge. Mm -hmm. huge huge in august okay now now i did a tune in to trump and i saw him standing and he had a crown yeah. but he also had a sash and i went okay a crown and a sash what does that represent that means that somebody has won so, like the Miss Universe, what does she get? She gets a little crown and she gets her sash, you know, and she's got a like a body that's like from that's being given to her by the angels, you know, with long legs, you know, and whatever, right? Um, so I say to people, God gifted me with a lot of talents, but height wasn't one of them. Me too, um, no. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, you know, like I'm like I'm five foot one. I'm the same height as Nicole Richie, you know, <laughs> Nikki and I, you know, but she's half my size again. Yeah. In with. Anyway, so so that's what I saw. And then I said, okay, when? And they said they said to me in a very short period of time. Okay, very short period of time. So then I went, okay, cool. So then I went, so what do we have to do for ourselves and also going forward from here yeah and what I got through very very strong I said right people are talking to me about protection 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 yeah oh and you get the white light and you get all of this sort of stuff yeah mm -hmm. anyway so I said to upstairs right when I wake up in the morning I want to know what is it? How do we do this protection from not only here on the earth plane but when we're asleep at night and from what those guys are doing out there? Huh. Well, did I wake up with something? So I woke up with you have to be surrounded by crosses. And I went, right, okay, cool. I said, give me a visual. So they gave me the visual. And it's a white light cross mm -hmm. that goes above your head right down to the underneath your feet so it goes the whole length yeah mm -hmm. and the outside of the white light cross is golden light then you now this is every night right they said you've got to do this every night so you you visualize the cross and you're lying on that then you have to visualize one on top of you mm -hmm. then another cross to the left side of you another one to the right side of you where each of the sections are meeting oh, wow. so where we've got our cross section here our cross section here meets the cross section of the two crosses at the side, and then and then the two crosses at the side meet the cross section at the back of us. Right. Then we visualize a cross above our heads and below our feet that also meet on the points of. And I went, oh my god! 
So we're just totally locked in. And we are totally locked in protection to the, ener the energy of Jesus Christ's protection. And then I went, oh, my God, that makes so much sense because if they go in to do any exorcism, what do they do? They take the cross with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And the evil cannot handle that cross. The right. evil cannot handle that cross. So if we do that every night, then we get up in the day and we're walking around, we still have it around us. Mm -hmm. And then when we go to bed at night, we do it again, okay? So I got that one through. Then I said, right, so what, what can we do as far as the world is concerned? Now, a lot of your people that I read for do Reiki, mm -hmm. yeah? Oh, wow, cool. And I went, okay, yeah. yep. So I said, I do Reiki, you know, so all of these. And I said, right, so this is what you have to do. Um, if the people listening out there have ever studied in Hawaii, with um, George Naopi or any of the kahunas and they've learned symbols for healing, right? This applies to them. So what they said to do, they showed me the planet Earth, yeah, and I sort of went, well, is it round or is it flat? What do you want me to do here? <laughs> <laughs> and they just said, whatever, however it is that you hold that belief about what the planet looks like, yeah, yeah. That's what you have to do, yeah? So every night for five minutes when you go to bed is just to visualise the, the planet and the globe and you're actually, like, holding it. And if it, if it's Reiki that you've done, you do your choke array, yeah, with both hands and you just put the – and you just hold your hands for five minutes, sending that healing energy to the planet, to the planet and I went oh my god and it's like yeah because like all of these people need healing and this is a really great way of helping humanity without you actually having to be their hands on yeah right so then I went okay so what else do we have to do and they said gut feelings gut feelings gut feelings really important and I said okay and then I said so the way that I explain gut feelings is that okay for me to explain that when I'm doing readings for people yep absolutely and it's like okay cool yep got it and what I explain to people is what you've got to understand is the gut feelings that we get not the fear and you always know fear makes sense, gut feelings don't. Gut feelings that you get, I explain it to people as God's protective energy. This is God saying to you, be careful. You know, yeah. So you'll meet people and you'll just get a, a I don't like them, yeah, right. and you must, must, must listen to it. And they said to me, this is so important right now at the planet, on the planet and going forward. What is my gut feeling? What is my gut feeling? Should I go in the car to such and such? If you get no, it's called no. And like I said to you at one point in time, I sit and I go, should I go to the supermarket now? No. Should I go in the afternoon? No. Should I go tonight? Yes. Okay, tonight. Six o'clock? No. Seven o'clock? No. Eight o'clock? Yes. So I go at eight o'clock. Now, for whatever reason, that's when I have to go. Doesn't right. make any sense, yeah, but that's when I have to go at 8 o'clock. So they're saying you have to do this in regard to everything, everything, gut feeling, gut feeling, gut feeling. If it doesn't feel right, it's called don't do it. If yeah. it doesn't feel right to go there, don't go there. It's so funny because they say kids and animals always tell the truth. Kids always, you know, kids don't, kids and animals don't question their spidey senses. They don't question, yeah. they don't like someone, they don't like someone. And then we lose that as we yeah. grow up. We, we've been taught not, you know, Absolutely. you know, so yeah. I mean, we're having yeah. to go back to the root of where we were. Yeah, yeah. And what, I, what I'm um, going to be covering, and I was talking to you about it before, um, in regard to all of the, the spike protein, yeah, it's like I sat there today and I thought, oh, that's why Cooper wouldn't get out of the car. When I've seen, I said, you know, come in, come into the, the coffee shop that we go to, come in and, you know, we'll get some lunch together. No, 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 I'll just stay here. 
I said, oh, well, okay, you want me to get it for you and to bring it to you? Yep. He wants the least amount of human contact at the moment. And I thought, I've got it. He's, he knows. I was about to say he knows, but no, he, he knows. knows. <laughs> he knows. Yeah, absolutely. So these kids are really connected to that. Um, okay, so now everybody by now would have to know that 1% of the world's population have been ruling and running the 99%. And they've been ruling us by fear and programming. So that's all they've done. It's the fear, the programming, the fear, the programming, the fear, the programming, yeah? Mm -hmm. So here's 99% being controlled by 1%. Hello. Come on, people, yeah? And I loved it. Did you see France? Did you see yes. Paris? Oh, my God, those police. I went, oh, my God. I got, oh. I got teary-eyed watching that. I, like, oh. literally got it, unbelievable, like, I, I wanted to hug those police officers. Like, oh, they were you clapping. and me both, you know. Oh, and they're, they're clapping the people. I'm going, oh, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's like this is just absolutely, absolutely, absolutely amazing. Yeah? The same thing just happened now, in Ireland as well. Ireland just had the same thing happen too in Ireland. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. So I'm just sort of saying, look, police all over the planet, like, please start connecting in with others, yeah? Mm -hmm. Please start connecting in, you know, and, do it, and doing what it is that, that you know that's right. Now, also, guys, do your research because um, I love Mel Kay. I love Mel Kay. Um, and, but she was talking about a multipolar world, so we will have sovereignty for every nation, so that's what we're going towards. She's amazing, that girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, I adore her. But she's like we have here an ad on TV called Ever Ready, for Ever Ready Batteries, and we have a little bunny, and it's like and the bunny's got the Ever Ready and the bunny goes racing. I don't know if you have it over there. Yeah, yeah. and then all of a sudden the batteries start to wear down. Yeah, and I thought Mel Kay reminds me of an Ever Ready bunny. I, you just sort of like you just turn her on and then off she goes, yeah? <laughs> right, she's amazing. But something that she also shared was Epstein and Maxwell were responsible for the, for the setting up of the Right, for those of you who want to go and have, do, do some research into that, yeah, I thought that was really, really interesting. Okay, now it's uh, another thing that I got through from upstairs is that they said it's a time to deflect fear and move past it deflect fear and move past it it is now time yeah so all of us that are out there just deflect the fear and just keep on going just move past it like really really important yeah really important so that's it with that okay now do you have any questions? Because I've also got my cards. I've got new tarot cards. Yeah. Oh, would you believe it? Like, look at my new cards. It's like I love the Aquarian. It's the Aquarian tarot. The others are 30 years old and it's like they're so tatty and falling to pieces that I thought I'd better get myself a new pack. Well, I so actually, I'm, going, I'm going to frame the old ones. Oh, that would be awesome art, like art to, in, yeah. something to, yeah. Well, I got yeah. a lot of questions from art. Like I said, you are by far one of my most cherished guest on this channel i feel like it's your channel too um my all of my my subscribers love it when you're on so i have a whole list of questions here. oh good good yes and i have a lot actually about australia so somebody mm. wants to know um from australia they asked are we in the lockdowns in australia because of alliance operations or yes. okay or they said or because people need to take a ride rise up to take their country back and she said, Lo she loves you from Anna Bay. <laughs> okay. um, I, get, I get it. Something to do with, um, with the alliance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but also it's like by putting us into, into lockdown, it's also getting us to like, come on, come on, come on, come on, right? When are you going out. to get yeah. this? Yeah. Yeah. When are you yeah. going to get this? You know, because it's just, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 like you say, like, we're the 99%. There are way more of us 
than them. Yep. It doesn't have to be violent. Absolutely. We just have Absolutely. to say, nope, we're not doing this anymore. What are they going to do? You know, if all that's my, it. yeah, they can't do anything. That's it. You know, and one of the guys um, here in Australia actually opened up his pub. Well, we call hotels here pubs. Yeah, he just opened up his pub. He said, I'm opening up. I'm opening up. So, like, you can come, you can find me and whatever. But people that have been fined have now found, now realised that it's like their fines are not worth the paper that it's been written on. No. So, so again, it's this, it's the whole of this this fear energy. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's and I love the acronym for fear: false evidence appearing real. It's real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So somebody else had a question about um, uh, can can you see changes with the Australian tax department in the next eighteen months? We know, well, we know the old system is dying. So what do you see for Australia? Oh, look, I mean, absolutely. But the thing is, what I've said and what I've said right from the word go, and it was really interesting because I was listening to, um, to uh, like, this incredible video, and I think I sent it to you at one point in time um, just a couple of weeks ago, and it's like, and it's of Trump and he's, like, talking and they've got the kids and it's like, it's just like, oh. It's, it's, oh, it's like, I just like, I just cried, cried when I saw what was, what they were doing with these little kids. And one of them is just crying and going, no, 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 no. Like the cry. It's like, oh my God, you guys, I yeah. tell you what, it's like, um, they better run and hide. It's like when all of this, all of this comes through because it's like I think that we'll have a herd of people from all over the world just going, we're quite happy to pull the noose. We're yes. quite happy to, yeah. I mean, yeah, we're quite happy to press that button. Yeah, yep. not a problem. Not a problem, you know. It's like you'll have so many people volunteering for the job that it's like they'd be fighting each other for who's going to actually press the button or pull the noose, yeah. Do you think, um, do you think they'll show us any? We, we know that a lot of people have already been taken out. Like we know that that's happened, that they have body doubles or whatever just to kind of help people shift. Do you think we'll be able to go back and see their trial? Did they film them? Did they film their confessions? Did they film their execution oh, absolutely absolutely it's like they have been so thorough that it's like it's unbelievable and it's like the Nuremberg trials right yeah. they filmed all of that but how many years did it take for that to actually come out right for the general public to be able to see it I mean on my Facebook page I reposted a photograph that somebody sent me of a whole lot of members of the media in Germany um during that period of time and you've got all of the people standing around and it's all of these guys from the media being they were doctors and journalists yep all hung the whole lot of them with all the people standing around so i tell you what it's like i wouldn't want to be a part of the media or you know have been a part of the media up until now because it's like it's it's you know it's not, it's not, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be nice. It's no. not going to be nice. But the thing is, is that these people have put dollars before truth. Right. And anybody who has put dollars or power before the truth, it's like they're all coming down. All of them, they're all coming down. Right. It's in, in the, I mean, I, I, I just, it's <sighs> brilliant because I remember when Trump first started his campaigning and he started talking about which is propaganda. It's a new, it's, it's just rebranding what, pro, what they call propaganda in World War II. And I remember when he first started writing, I was like, what does he mean, fake news? Like, what does he mean? And now and I, almost everybody knows that everything coming off of that TV screen is a telenovela. It's fiction. Absolutely. Now every, yep. it's amazing yep. in that short amount of time, all these people now mm. realize like. The, yeah, that's right. It's not the truth. I know. I know, but isn't it? And it's like, and it's a, it's like, and I've been over here in Australia. We've got this show called Farmer Wants a Wife, and it's like, and just, it's a frivolous, you know, frivolous sort of show. So I've been watching that, yeah. But do you know what? It's like in the ad break, they will have four ads, and out of the four ads, two of them will be about, or it will be about the back or whatever yeah mm -hmm. so like i'm on my treadmill and i'm having to press the button to go to the next channel while that is going on or if i'm walking around or i've gone over to make myself a cup of tea and it comes on you hear me in the kitchen la, 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 la. 
<laughs> until the ad is over and done with and I race back in from them and then I just turn it over, you know. Yeah. yeah. So it's like it's like it, they're just hitting, 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 hitting people with it 24-7. Yeah, 24-7. And they, you know, and so many stupid people are still watching the news. And it's like, do you know what? It's like nothing we can do about it. Now, oh, something that came up, excuse me for interrupting here. Um, when when it came out about okay, and I immediately said to the girls, Trump. Trump's got an antidote, or Trump will have an antidote for this. Mm -hmm. And they went like, what do you mean? I went, I don't know. I said, I'm just being told he will have an antidote. Yeah. And it's like, and like, and whenever it comes up or, you know, the girls go, oh, and I go, what did I say? What did I say? I always go back to what I say. The first thing that I say is what I said. And if that's what I got through, that's what I got through. So they're going to have an antidote. That's what I get, yeah? yeah. And then there will be something else that they will be able to do as well. And the first people that will be, that will be treated will be um, the innocent yeah. The innocent will be the first. Then it will be people who have been forced to have it yeah. in order in order for them to earn their livelihoods. Right. You know, and we're just waiting now and hoping and praying that all of this comes soon so that no more people die from right. actually having this. Well, that's a good question, actually. Are you familiar with Jason Q, who's a researcher? I've heard of him, yeah. He, one time he spoke about, you know, we, we have this idea, which is interesting because when you look in the Bible, they talk about like the resurrection. Also, somebody brought up like the false prophets that the Bible talks about is the media, is the yeah. universities. Those are the false prophets, not people like us who are trying to share the truth. It's them. Yeah. But Jason yeah. Hugh brought up this interesting idea that anybody who has passed away after 2015 will be brought back when this flips like a resurrection because we're coming into this a thousand years of peace and so what is your take on that do you think yeah. that that is likely to happen wow anybody that died before 2000 julie, julie like i don't like i like i don't know that's you know, it's like, fascinating like, it's like it's like 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 you're talking to a capricorn here so it's like you know and i may be a woo woo um but it's like you know the capricorn is like really sort of like pretty you know, practical and logical. However, um, having said that, do you know what? Anything's possible. Exactly. That's how I anything exactly. is anything is possible because we have absolutely no idea what technology that they've actually held back, locked away. And it's like, and we're all like it's going to it's going to blow our socks off. When yeah. it all comes out, it's like we are just going to be like, oh, my God. And, oh, another thing is that one of the girls sent me through um, a fabulous, fabulous uh, link to the giant people that were on the planet until the mid-1800s when oh. these, like, yeah, your Rockefellers and all of them actually wiped them out. Yeah, I've done some studies on the Nephilim before, and there's a quote from President Abraham Lincoln in the middle of the 19th century where he made reference to the giants. And let me tell you, when I was researching all these remains that they had found of these bones of like 20 foot people, yeah, a yeah. lot of these archaeologists sent the bones to the Smithsonian thinking they were doing the right thing. And the Smithsonian, Smithsonian incinerated them. And That's the right. archaeologists filed lawsuits against the Smithsonian and their defense, guys, you can look all this up. Their defense was we had to protect the narrative. That's right. That's right. It's like, oh, no, we can't let people know that these people walked the planet and actually created and built all of these buildings. And these buildings were about, like, electricity. So all of the electricity yes. was free, right? Yes. I mean, it's just, you know, and it's like, and throw Captain Cook um, out of his ship because it's like, like, he never landed. And as far as Christopher Columbus is concerned, well, you can forget about him too. <laughs> well, that, you know, that, okay, so that, that 
brings up another good point. In my study of the, the, uh, the whole American continent, just not just the United States, but Canada all the way down, there are all these places, especially in the Grand Canyon, when somebody asked about the Grand Canyon, there are these two, these caverns in the Grand, the Grand Canyon where the government won't let people in. And the Native Americans say that there are Egyptian mummies in those caverns. And yeah. The government won't let us in. And in uh, the yeah. World's Fair that happened in Chicago in the 19th century, they had all this Roman architect that wasn't created. It was there already. And then they got rid of it after the World's Fair as a cleanup job. So the whole story of the American continent is bunk. Yeah, that's right. Bunk. So everything is. Yeah. yeah. So like Christopher Christopher Columbus, guy, Columbus guys was a man overboard and so was Captain Cook. <laughs> and, like, and so it's going to go on and on and on and we'll just all be sitting going, well, what a waste of time going to school was. <laughs> <laughs> so glad I never got my master's. <laughs> yeah. It's like Hello Comet, you know. It's like all I wanted to do is that I wanted to get out and I wanted to start to work and then I wanted to run my own business. Mm -hmm. That was it. I was teaching piano when I was 13. Right. Yeah. It's like it's like always and it's like and then this is where like Born to be Free came about. It's like I don't want to be owned by anyone. I want to. I want to have my freedom, and if there is any ownership, then I, it has to be as minimal as possible. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. That's what. Well, you met my boyfriend. Yeah. Um, that's what when he went to India and yeah. started studying. In fact, he's he gorgeous. I love him. Yeah. Oh, me too. <laughs> he loves you as well. He's te he's off teaching right now, but yeah. But he so he did, he yeah. never wanted to have that like nine to five. He never you know. But he grew up in the military, so he woke up really at a really young age because he had alien experiences being on these bases. Right. And so that's he's right. always like very resistant resistant to the the indoctrination of of the uh, educational system which that's what a doctorate is a doctorate is an indoctrination you know yeah. so yeah. yeah it's it's everything we've learned we're gonna have to like unlearn you know and and yep. figure out you know but but you think about the history they've set up they've set it up where they they've pinned people against each other different mm -hmm. ethnic, ethnic groups against each mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. where if we understood we're all earthlings, we're all part of humanity, yep. then we would not fight each other and they would be screwed That's at right. that point because yep. then we would realize who our real yep. enemies were. Well, it's like, it's like, well, they're coming, you know, well, it's like, I'm just like, you know, like, just bring it on. I'm just going like, just bring it on. <laughs> yeah. Like, just please just bring it on. It's time. Yeah? But at the same time, time. But at the same, at the same time, it's like, like with gorgeous Helen, um, my girlfriend, you know, and I'll, I'll call her in tutor and recently been, oh, oh, I can't handle it. I can't handle any more, you know, and I just go, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Just pull your act together, right? It's like you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine, yeah? And then, and then I just turn around and I just say to her, what you've got to do, we've got to focus on how long it took our world to get to the state that it was in. Yep. So we cannot expect it to change overnight. Right. And right. there's going to be some casualties on, the, you know, like on the way. On the way there will be casualties, you know, but we're just going, trying to keep them to be the least amount of casualties as possible. Right, right. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I, and I feel like everybody kind of has and before they take their incarnation they have an agreement anyway when it's their time to go it's their time to go they've already agreed absolutely it. absolutely so, this is what i say to people it's like my mother's agreement would have been to pass from cancer because that's the soul's yeah because the soul knows everything that as you know the soul knows yeah soul knows yep yeah, knows the whole lot it does the agreement it's like and as i say to people listen your family is your karma just get really clear about that yeah yeah Family is karma. Absolutely. So, you know, like, so if you, but it's about learning the lesson of what that family dynamic is all about and then you can move on from that and create your own family with your soul group. Right. Yeah, they are your real family is your soul group. The family that you're born into, it's your karma. 
Right. I, I absolutely, I agree with you 100%. I had a past life reading done like 10 years ago and it was like crazy. The different relationships I'd had with both of my parents in all yeah. these different lives um, that weren't parent child and, and the, the issues that there were, were still playing mm-hmm. out in this life too. And our souls know that, you know, our brain is so mortal that it only thinks in this one lifetime, but our soul knows that it's, it's eternal and the soul yeah. never dies and that it will just keep changing outfits basically until it, wherever it then eventually reaches when it's completed mm-hmm. its courses and, and being, in a human world. So Mm -hmm. absolutely. So yeah, absolutely. Well, with the Grand Canyon and I know, and I can't remember the name of it when I, when I was in Australia, it's in, um, New South Wales, there's a kind of like Australia's Grand Canyon, but it's greener than ours. I can't remember the name of it. I visited it there. And, um, um, somebody was asking if, is the Grand Canyon New South Wales or is it, or is it Catherine Gorge? In um up north, it's Catherine north. Gorge. That's near. It's, that's near. That's that's near Ayers Rock. That's. It's been so long. It's it's North Australia. Um, we were yes. in I think Newcastle, and we left from Newcastle to go to it. Um, and again, I, Australia is my favorite country in the whole world. So I love I love Australia so much. But um, I remember they were explaining it. It was kind of like the Grand Canyon in America. Well, one of my subscribers asked if the Grand Canyon is an electromagnetic vibrational ground designed by off-worlders. And I'm going to extend that out. If it is, are there multiple places all over the planet that's like this vibrational yeah. ground? Yes. Yeah, there is. It's like it's, it's, it's the vibrational grid. But also um, I'll send you through these um, – it's this whole documentary. There's five episodes, and it's all about the the structure of the world. Oh wow! I'd yeah. love to watch but that. But also, yeah. but also that that um, that to do with the Grand Canyon. They said that it's linked in with it, like with our giants. So that 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 race had something to do with the Grand Canyon. That is that is a part of these particular these five documentaries about the structure of the world, right? As we know it, yeah. But we have our ma- we have our major major points right. right all over the planet, and it's a grid. It's a big. It's a grid, yeah. And this is why with the it's like and with the blah, them um like the under the, you know the under the the earth's surface um it's like they they congregate under these these main points i believe it yep yep to to destroy to destroy or block that energy that energy flow, yeah. Now, another thing that came up was um, one of the girls was telling me that um, Gene Decode was talking about how it's like they're still cleaning stuff up. I believe you know that. at, believe at the that. moment, like you know. So if we're going down in, in into lockdown, um, it's like it's pretty bad. And something came up in regard to in Australia um, about the human animal forms. Yeah. That were being bred. Yeah. That, yes. that makes me see. Yeah. I've seen some pictures. I don't know if they're real pictures or not, but it like literally makes me sick to my stomach. Like what kind of a psychopath yeah. would do that? Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's disgusting. Yeah. But you know, in, in, the evil, missing, evil. in the missing books of the Bible, the book of Jubilee, which of course, you know, they took away most of our books of the Bible and only gave us a few because the, these missing books had so much information. In the book of Jubilee, which is supposed to be in the Old Testament, it talks about that, that there would come a day when human beings would start to manipulate DNA to try to merge the species together. Like th- that's wow. how they took that book away from us because they didn't want us to know that this was, and you know, and all the people who wrote the Bible were all reading the stars and could prophesy about what was going to happen. You know, yeah, that's right. and, and they yeah. were telling us like, you know, 6,000 years ago that this was going to happen. Mm-hmm. They were going to try to manipulate because DNA mm-hmm. is sacred. D- your yeah. own personal DNA. That's why they, it carries this sacred DNA of the individual. And it's yep. just so sick. Like it's just most human beings would never even consider, even consider doing what these people have done. Like it would never even cross their mind to be this 
But it's, it, but it's, yeah, it was interesting because I was explaining to like, uh, like a couple of your people that I've read for, and you know, and and I was, we were talking about like the planet having a hundred percent human beings, and those human beings are in God's likeness. And we have the son of us. And I said, but what I also got was that they have manipulated the energy of the human being and they've, they've made all of these human forms, but inside of those human forms is something else. There's no soul energy in them, but they're walking around I believe they, they are a part of like like of, of planet Earth. They're walking around. They're I walking around, that. and you would you and you you cannot tell. You they're not cannot here. tell that they're a they're a part of them. <laughs> yes. So, and this is when I was saying, like, when you get when you get a gut feeling to stay away from somebody, or a gut feeling of like I don't like that person. It's like. Yeah, it may be like a human being um, who is coming from negative energy, mm -hmm. but it's like what's to say that it's not one of them? Right. And we are just shrinking away from them. Did you ever see the footage of the children um, with their parents with the Queen? I saw the one of the little boy where he just like... The little like boy who ran recoiled. Away. Recoiled. Mm -hmm. And went down on the floor mm -hmm. and crawled away out there. And then there was a little girl who just like who recoiled and just went into her mother's like you know like into her mother's dress basically. Yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, kids know. Our kids know. He didn't. Kids know. That yes. little boy didn't care about social standards. He got away. It's if any, he just sunk down and like crawled away. Oh, yeah. It's like oh no 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 no. Are you kidding me? No. Yeah. No. Nope. I mean, mm -hmm. that's why you look at like Princess Diana and how sad she looked all of the time. And she was surrounded by this. And I believe that she, I don't know if it's you right. believe she's still alive. I believe that she got out when she could get out and she's been a part of this. Yep. But, you know, you yep. see it on people's faces when they're surrounded by this, just this evil. And yep. um, I know, are you familiar with the book, The Law of One? The raw yes. material. Yeah, that's, yes. that's my boyfriend. That's like his Bible. That's what he really lives by with the, the negative and the polarizing and positive. And it talks about people being like empty portals for negative yeah. energy. You know, yeah. that's what yeah. we're, we're saying. That's what you're seeing is people that yes. for a, yeah. a person that has a soul would want to care for that being, but your gut's telling you not to because that that is just a shell. They're literally mm. a shell of that's a it. negative entity. That's it. Um, that's it. And that's it. it. It's, it's and they're just doing they're doing their master's work on earth and that is to manipulate you control you you know take and i know um from the studies of all the missing biblical works it talks about how and i'm paraphrasing how lucifer because lucifer fell from grace lucifer is the god of death lucifer can't create life god can create life the angels can create life the positive can create the negative polarized can't create so they have to take from the positive in order to sustain life so yeah. that's why we see these, what they that's do it. in their rituals and they yes. suck the life out of you. These psychic vampires suck so that they can, you're their feeding. That's, and when you read all that, you're like, oh my God, this makes so much sense. But of course the church yeah. let us read that. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is why I say to people, you know, and, you know, and saying to, you know, like all of, all of you, your girls that have been in, you know, and I've read for a couple of guys, um, it's, it's, it's the whole of, you don't know who is walking amongst us. <laughs> yeah. And you don't know what another person's intentions are. However, you do. Yeah. Because you've got that gut feeling mm -hmm. and that gut feeling is there to protect you and it's going, no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't make sense. So what we do as human beings with our programming, we argue with that. Yeah. Because it doesn't make sense. Right. So yeah. what we've got to do, we've got to stop the arguing and we've got to go into the gut because the gut is where the answers are. 
So Absolutely. all of this that is going on, it's like you trust you trust Trump, Trump, yep, right. Gut feeling, yep, right. Stick with it. Yeah. Do not doubt it. Do not go, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. If you have got that gut feeling, it is spot on. Right. Spot on. Absolutely. How many times, how many times have we looked at those World Trade Centers coming down, those planes going in and going like, where are the wings? Right. <laughs> and I think one of them for me that was as, as, as plain as on the nose, the nose on your face was the Pentagon. It's like, yes. hello? <laughs> hello? Where's what? The whole aeroplane went in? So if the whole aeroplane went in, where is the wingspan that's gone in and cut that pentagon? Where is it? <laughs> I mean, I mean, hello. It was one single missile that went in. Like, look at it's. Oh my god! And I'm yeah. saying, and people go, oh, what, what, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm going, oh, please, honestly. <laughs> Honestly, you know, yeah, that's, like that's what one hundred percent broke woke my boyfriend up. He's ten years older than me. I was eighteen when that happened. So he was like twenty eight, and and he had already started to wake up because of all the alien stuff. But when that happened, yeah. he was like, "That's not how that happened." Like when it all happened, he was like, "That they're not telling us what really happened." Like that was what like really woke him up um, to the fact that yeah. these are yeah. masters. You know, yeah, absolutely. And, and I yeah. mean, and the, the plane that was that was supposed to go down out in the you know, the countryside. Yeah. It's like, well, we see planes that are hitting all the time and they go, they hit in the countryside and they hit the land and we've got debris everywhere. Yeah. So what happened? Where's all the debris? There was no debris. Yeah. It's like, what did it do? It's just sort of like, yeah. Poof, poof, yeah. Poof. yeah. And they get, but they got us so caught up in the narrative that it's like that our conscious logic was like totally disconnected. Yeah. Unbelievable. Un it? Totally I mean, unbelievable. Looking uh, back, how many more situations are we going to turn around and look back on and be like, that yeah. was them. That yeah. was not us. That was them. That was them. In You've my experience it. in this world and the, most people are, most human beings really don't want to hurt anybody else. Most human beings, yeah are very like you know they say if you need if you need to know right from if you need religion to know right from wrong you don't need religion mm -hmm. you need about it right That's right because most yeah. kids don't need somebody tell most pe people know have empathy and compassion even as little children don't want to hurt anybody and so yeah. so the fact that we are being told that all these things are happening because human beings are just bad no it's that one percent that's doing this that are evil and bad because most of us mm -hmm. don't want to hurt anybody you know that's right but what, what happens it's like we're programmed you know it's like and when you do watch television and I've recently uh reconnected with Netflix again so I've had a really nice time it's <laughs> like watching all of these period pieces yeah. um until I watched one period piece and there was a black and white floor and I went oh okay <laughs> we know about yep. the black and white floors we know yep. about the black and white floor tiles yep. um so so yeah but sort of like like looking at all of that and then you're looking at all of your choices of the movies and it's like like we're not into killing each other we're not into this violence we're not into but you put this all onto these games and you have you put your children in front of these these things and they're playing these games where you're shooting at people and you're doing and this is just all programming the children that this is how life is right oh don't get me started so now now my big find Okay. My big find. So I sat and I said to God, now listen, okay, all of this with these facts, it's like what uh, what can what can we do? Can we do anything for ourselves if we've had if people have had the and if they're feeling certain ways, you know, like what can they do about it? Yeah. And then we started hearing about the spike protein. And I went, right, okay, well, I better have a look at this and just see what this is all about. 
So what I've what I've discovered, and I'm sure a lot of your, your viewers have already discovered this, but I just wanted to share this with you, uh, with them for those that don't know this, um, is that everybody who has had a throw out spike protein, okay? And what happens is that we, the people who have not, we actually get affected by it. So we can have all of these different symptoms and we can have blood clots. We can have problems with our heart. Yeah, the whole yeah. thing. We can have the heads, the yeah. problem with the head, you know, the tiredness, all of that. So um, I went, okay. So, and then somebody said something about pine. And I went, okay, pine. And so I went looking for that and then I got pine needles. So then I go down to my health food store and I go, right, guys. And they go, oh, God, here we go. <laughs> you know, it's like, yes, tea, <laughs> what is it? Okay, um, have you got anything? Now, I know that I've had, had French pine bark from you before for clearing out of my arteries, yeah, and for my veins for the clearing out, yeah? And they went, yeah. And I said, do you have anything that has got to do with pine needles? So that's the pine bark, but do you have French pine needles? And it's like, um, no. But then Blair came from out the back and he went, oh, Tayaga. And I went, huh, what? And he said, Tay Tay or Tayiga. And I went, okay, how do you spell it? He said T-A-I-G-A. -A. And I went, okay, he said, that's pine needles. I went, okay, cool. So I said, I'm hearing this thing about pine needle tea. Like, do you have that? It's like, no, no, eager. And he goes, yeah. And I said, so you don't have any? No but we will be getting some in. Oh, okay, cool. So off I go home and I go, go onto the internet and I put it in and it's called pine forest. So all of the pine forests are, and that's what they call them, Taiga pine forest or Taiga pine forest, okay? So, so <laughs> then I actually went on and went, okay, and when I asked for pine needle supplements, nothing came up. So I put in T-A-I-G-A supplements. But um amazing. Found it. What what company? Right? Did you well, I found this like online. Okay. And uh, here in Australia. Um, it is under davidjonespharmacy.com.au in America, not sure. Okay. But I'm everybody gonna, I'm gonna just that for yeah, so just out. so just so just go on Google T A I G A capsules. Okay. And there will be places in America because this is Red Indian. This is Red Indian stuff. Yeah, the Red Indians used to use it, right? So then, so then, are we ready? Yes. Okay. So this was published on the on it was mod it was mod on the eleventh of May this year, and it was modified on the thirteenth of May. So I'll just give you just a little run down. Um, okay. The Salk, S-A-L-K Institute has um, authorised a bombshell revealing that SARS-CoV-2 spike protein is what's actually causing vascular damage in patients and recipients, promoting the strokes heart attacks, migraines, blood clots and other harmful reactions that have already killed thousands of Americans. Transmission is happening at a rapid rate as the cells of the 
are now producing a synthetic spike protein from the pathogen they were injected with. Right? Then I'm going to go down to the bottom because this really just blew me out of the water. One of my dear friends and clients, her father was put into hospital with they said he'll be there for 10 days. She, she got hold of some suramin, S-U-R-A-M-I-N, which happens to be you inject it, but it's also in tablet form, but you need a doctor's prescription to be able to get it. And funnily enough, people are not able to get it from the doctors, okay? So what is it? It's the oil of pine needles. So, so what she did is that she actually got some serum and she smuggled it into the hospital, gave it to her father. They said he would be in there for two weeks. He was in there for two days and walked out. She said, I smuggled in serum. Okay. So then when I read this, I went, oh, my God, that's that that she used. Yeah. So here we are. Um, so there's an antidote for the current dash spike protein contagion and it's readily available, right? I've been reading about suramen and isolated compound derived from an extract of pine needle oil. It is only available by injection. Apparently suramen has been a closely guarded secret not made not made openly available to the masses during this yet is an effective solution for parasites and viruses and provides an antidote for those affected by the spike protein cont um, contagion and so it goes on so guys so this is what I did. Now, I work with the with a pendulum. I've been working with a pendulum since I did my studies in, um, in Hawaii, okay? So here we are, and this is what you do. And I've already done this for my grandson and his stepbrother, okay? Um, and it proved, no, they didn't need it, yeah? But I just go, right, and everybody out there, once you get it, this is what you do. Does my body need this? So you have to know that your pendulum is your yes and your no, okay? So when, when my pendulum goes clockwise, it's yes, okay? So my body needs it. So then you go, thank you, okay? So does my body need one of these a day? Anti-clockwise for me is no. Okay, thank you. Does my body need two of these a day? No, thank you. Does my body need three of these a day? Yes, it's going clockwise. Okay, thank you. Does my body need three of these a day for a week? No, thank you. Does my body need three of these a day for two weeks? No, thank you. You have to say thank you every time, otherwise it gets its stew with it, yeah? And then it's like, does my body need three of these a day for the next three weeks? Yep. Amazing. Hooly dooly, guys. Amazing. Okay. So that's it. This is Suraman. This is Suraman, right? So what they did, the doctors actually took the oil from your pine needles, made it into an injection and made it into a, like a tablet form that you can only get from them. But this is what it is. It's Tiaga. This is, okay. This is amazing. I know. I know. I was blown out of the water. That's why I said to you, I've got to come on. I'm ready to come back on again. Yeah? Yeah, no, okay. absolutely. That's amazing. And I'm going to actually... I, that, then the thing that blew me out of the water was, um, okay, okay. Um, so this is medical speak they talk about, right? So the trail from suramen to pine needle tea. So you can actually, people can get this, this article if they email through to me and okay. we'll just email it out to you because okay. there's a recipe for pine needle tea, 
right, if you want to go down that path, yeah? Um, and it says, um, okay, in the 100 Years of Suriman Study, the following paragraph within the subtitle, and then it says outlines its antidote properties to the spike protein contagion derived from the mRNA that gives instruction to replicate a spike protein in other cells. Then it goes into a whole lot of jargon, right? But it says basically this is medical speak, all of this jargon, this is medical speak for, inhabit, for inhibiting inappropriate replication and modification of RNA and DNA. Oh, my God. There it is. Boom. So there it is. It's Boom. ceremony. Isn't that amazing, though, that God gave us on the earth what we need to correct? Oh, yeah, oh, look, everything. That's what I say to people, you know, all of our, you know, it's like I studied nutrition for quite a long period of time and, you know, and I, and I teach about nutrition and all of the muck that they put into our food and what it's actually doing to us, yeah? But I always say to people that we have everything on the planet to have the best health. All we've got to do is get them away from putting all of the crap. It's like in the early 80s, what they did is that they removed iodine out of our bread and they replaced it with BVO. And BVO causes depression and over a period of time it creates psychosis. And it's also this BVO is in soft drink. So we, with the iodine has gone, the BVO, which is an industrial waste, is put into everything causes depression so you get depression so you go to the doctor and then the doctor gives you antidepressants yep but what i looked at really looked into further were all of the the kids at school that were taking and just going crazy and shooting everyone yeah uh -huh. it's like psychosis yep. created by their diet Yep. which was all carbohydrates, all of the bread and the and the pop. I know you call it pop over there. We call it soft drink here. Yeah. Actually, so it's, in, the, in the South, everything's Coke. So it's Coca-Cola. Oh, right. Do you want a Coke? Okay. You want a yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's like it's, it's, it's in and these kids, these kids are getting depressed. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing that they also said um, was something to do with the Tiaga um to do with autism so if you've got autistic kids yeah like that's going the tiaga is going to help with them as well so we've got it i had to share it I'm, that is so, you know, I'm, I'm thinking like because i you know love studying like lineages and like you did not see i'm not saying depression didn't exist a hundred years ago but it wasn't the way it is now no, Every no. person I know has an anxiety disorder, a depression disorder. I mean, kids, children are being put on these antidepressants. And it's like, right. you know, even uh, they, they, my boyfriend was diagnosed with ADHD as a child because he was very hyperactive. And they, yeah. they tried to medicate him. And then he, one of his spiritual teachers told him that that, was a, that that energy was like a gift given to him by God. And they tried yes. to do it. You know, Absolutely. So we're always looking to see what's wrong with people and then trying to put something on top of it where, where yeah. I mean, it's amazing how much they've screwed with us. It's, oh, it's like, it's, hello, Comet. I, know, I mean, hello. You can't even get away from it because the only food you have available. It's everywhere. Is, it's yeah. everywhere. It's everywhere. I was, on the, I was on the phone until about 1 o'clock this morning with my ex-son-in-law's wife. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I know. I, I know. That. You know, like we have, you know, we have great race. But I was explaining to her about, um, a, like about it, aspartame. I was explaining to her about the BVO. I was explaining, and she's like, "Oh my god!" So the average person doesn't know. They like they don't know. Yeah, my they girlfriend. Did. My girlfriend died of a brain tumor. And she was for 10 years, had her mobile phone up against her left ear. And I used to say to her, Josie, like, take it off. Josie, have you got your Q link? Are you wearing your Q link? No, I haven't got it yet. Um, drinking Diet Coke because she yeah. didn't want to get fat again. And I said, it's full of aspartame. Yeah. 
you know, what What on earth are you doing? The, the aspartame coats your brain cells. Yeah. Yeah. Anything that is sugar-free has got aspartame in it. This like, are you, are you kidding me? I said, stop it. Anyway, so we went to Paris um, and we were there for my, I think, yeah, for one of my birthdays we went to Paris. But we came back and she was walking strange and she wasn't well in Paris. And she got up like the next morning and her boyfriend said, oh, you're walking really weird. You better go to the doctor. What has she got? She's got a brain tumour behind her left ear, the size, the size of the aerial inside her mobile phone. And when they operated, the brain tumour was full of aspartame. It's full of white gunk. I mean, that's, I'll tell and you. Two years, two years and she was dead. Well, I, you know, and I just say to people, like, freaking wake up. I know. Like, God you know will, will the med beds, you think, be able to correct all of this stuff that we have in our system that we have? Yeah. Oh, like, absolutely. But the thing is, it's like, what's going to happen? It's like, I've just started doing a detox and I found um, food patches years and years and years and years and years ago yeah so I just went right I bought a whole lot of foot patches and every night when I'm going to bed so it's my third night so today's my fourth night yeah I put three foot patches on one foot for, you yeah. know the toes the middle and the back of my foot it covers the whole of it and every morning I'm getting up and it's as black as black yeah I, I will leave so alone. it's like it, it's for people watching, because I've done those foot patches as well. I actually think we have some, and it's amazing what it pulls out of your feet. And I will, oh. I will find some online and link that below for people yeah. watching who've never heard of I that. Will, I will actually, I will email you um, the name of the ones that I got because oh. they were like, they were on like my Facebook and they just were advertising it and they're not expensive. Right. No, they're yeah. not. So they're I just so I just went, right, okay, I'm just going for it. And they are big foot patches. Some of them are really tiny. These yeah. ones are big and they're already stuck. So they're already stuck too. So all you've got to do is peel it off and just wrap it around your foot. But, yeah. I mean, yeah. you guys watching, it's a, do, do, I've done, I mean, it is unbelievable what that thing looks like. And even if you think, I mean, I feel like I'm relatively healthy. I try to eat right, exercise, but what it pulls out just from living in a city even – food that you don't even know has been contaminated that's been contaminated you know that yep. your body is just trying and there's also something uh you can put your belly button as well I've seen those that will pull out through your belly button yeah well well with me it's like what I also say to people that if you've got an organ if you've got like an ache like uh -huh. on your liver it's like you just put a foot patch there Okay. And, and what it does, yeah, what it does, it starts to work on your liver. So anywhere you've got anything to do with pain, yeah, just put a foot I patch on. If I'm going to sore throat, I go to bed with a foot patch on my throat. <laughs> I love I walk, it. I walk, I walk around going, oh, come on, oh, oh, my God. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's like on oh, oh, my lungs, if I'm feeling, you know, anything, I just put a foot patch on each of my lungs. Yeah, on top of my boobies. <laughs> catch you, I could catch you up. <laughs> yeah, it's like but with Cooper, it's like if, you know, when if he had the flu or anything, I would just send foot patches up to my daughter and you know, just put the foot patches on his chest. Yeah. Because yeah? it's like a poultice. We used to have poultices when I was a kid, when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so exciting. All right. So, yes. any questions? I think. Do you want anything yes. else? I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try to find the tea, everything. I'm going to put the Australian website in the description box. I'm going to try to find it here in America. I'm going to look on, we have a company here in America called Health Force. It's really, really good. We've been using them for years. There's, there's a lot. There's a lot online. There's okay. Tiaga. There's, there's around about like five, five, five websites where you can get them from. Perfect. But for Australia, it's like the David Jones Pharmacy, but they have to get in quick because they sell out like that okay. because people are starting to learn. For all of our Australians watching, I will immediately yeah. put that website in the description box. So you can just click over to it and order that. Um, I will put all that in the description box. I will put Tamara's information, her contact, all in the description box as well for everybody watching. I'll link to her past videos too. And I'm also going to link to some other videos she's done on some of our other friends channel as well. Um, so you guys can hear more from her. Because gorgeous Nicholas. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I know. Nick. I know. Yeah. That's how, that's how yeah. I found you was through Nicholas. Like this woman's amazing. I know. <laughs> she's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I come on with Nick and I go, g'day mate. How are you? <laughs> 
he just I love how he just sits there and smiles. He's just such a yeah, I just want to like pinch his cheeks. He's so, such a sweet little kid. But, um, he's so, but he's so serious and he, he would go Tamara. Like yeah. Tamara. Yeah. Okay, he's, so I have a guess what I've got a card here and the card that I've got is the card to do with battle. All right. So the battle has started. Yep, right. It started, right? Yep. Um, and I'm seeing like a, like a lot of a lot of exposure. Um, Good. Card, as I'm looking at it, it's like I've got smoke coming out of this card. Yeah. So we're going to have some explosions that are actually going to be happening. Yeah. Okay. And I keep on getting over and over again that vision that I got of Trump in this limousine with a starred general. And behind Trump, it's like a white building. It was just exploded. I keep on getting it all the time, yeah? yeah. So it's like we're we're moving even closer to that, yeah? Now, they're also showing me um, Trump with a ring on his finger. So I don't, but it's like it's not... It's it's like it's not a wedding ring, but it's like it's a ring that's got a symbol on it and something that it that's and I'm I'm pointing to the middle finger here, right? It's it like, like a my king's second finger ring? on my right hand. It's like, like the, it's, the ring a king has. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Well, we talked about last week, King of Kings, which is biblical that he would kind of be the king of kings, the emperor of our world, and people would have to answer to him, which I, uh, I would totally fine with that because I do believe that he is the, the Christ consciousness. He is the... I, I have to laugh because all of a sudden they showed me this, they showed, they showed me this picture of him standing there really serious and he's saying to them, get back in line, like get back in line. But, I mean, but these are like leaders of countries, yeah? Yeah. And he's just going, you, you, get back in line. Get back in line. You're, you're out of order. Get back in line. Oh, my God. I mean, he was the people's president. He And he's going to, he, you know, the whole America. Like, every leader of every country should be putting their country first. You know, he, yeah. was, the, he was the president for the people. He was the That's only one. Why- that's why the yeah. government, that's why the institution hated him so much is because he wanted right. to make, our, our economy was the best it ever been under him because he, right. he worked it out where the people were prosperous. And so that's I think it. that he is going to make sure every country constantly yeah. has somebody that's representing them that are not yeah. corrupt. But the person, but the person that represents them are answerable to him. Mm-hmm. The king they're, answer, they're going to be answerable to him. And now they've shown me and it, and they're showing me um, wheat fields. So they're showing me fields of wheat. And, and I'm looking at it and he's saying to me, look at that, Tamara. It's like this was barren land. Oh, my God. Look at that. This yep. was barren land. And, and look at these crops. Yep. So on barren land, crops are going to grow again. Pure organic the food from a healthy crops, earth. Yep, crops crops are going to grow again. But I tell you what, it's like it's not over yet and there's one big battle that is happening and it's happening at the moment and it's all to do with this Mars, with this Leo energy. It's like it's 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 pretty full on. However, in saying that, they can't win. No. They've lost. They've no. already they've already That's lost. Cool. They can't win. But there's like one last battle. They're just gonna try as best they can. It's like, well, we're seeing them doing like the dead man's walk. They're freaking out. It's so obvious there. We were seeing like Anderson Cooper and these journalists like losing their they're losing their shit on air because they're so panicked. Because the first time people are actually looking at them going, You're lying. And not only are you lying, yeah. but you're in that. So not only are you yeah. lying, but you, you, yeah. you're you complicit in all of this. So, yeah. so I think they're panicked because all of a sudden their power and their money isn't going to save them anymore. That's right. Lucifer is That's not right. going to save them. Yeah. And I'll tell you what was really interesting. Who was I speaking to today? Uh, 
Oh, the lady that I read for today, gorgeous, a gorgeous lady. Yep, I love all your people. Um, and, yeah, and I'm going to Colorado. I've been invited. She's one of your people is building this beautiful house. She's I'm building this big house and there's only me, so she I don't know what I'm building it for. So, so you're going to have to come and stay. You know, you'll have, you'll have your own bedroom and your own bathroom. And I thought all of these invites, I've got invites to Florida, to yes. Atlanta, yes. to Pennsylvania, yes. you know. It's like England, like all oh, the family, like, yes. You know, but what I said to her was that I, and it would have been in the early 90s, and I was invited to a women's forum. I was visiting over in America, and I had gone to San Francisco. Michael Douglas was doing a movie with Sean Penn, and it was something like it's a it was a game thing that they were doing within a family. It was like really quite a bizarre movie. Um, and Michael Keaton was actually in San, San Francisco and I was there with this a client of mine um, who was a publicist. Anyway, I met Michael Keaton. He would like he was lovely. Yeah, I really liked him. Um, and I I walked in and met him and I just looked at him and I said, my life. And he looked at me and he said, what did you say? And I said, my life. He said it was one of the hardest movies that I did. I said it was brilliant. It was about cancer and it was about cancer and anger, unresolved anger to do with parents carrying it in your life. So, you know, he and I had a really great talk, you know, about unresolved emotions. But it that, that forum, the Women's Forum, who, who was the guest speaker at this Women's Forum, Hillary Clinton with Tipper. Yep. And for those and, who and know, I, Gore's wife, and, yeah, yep. yeah, Vice President Gore's wife was Tipper, yeah, yeah. Yep. And I just, I just sat there and I just looked at this woman and I just went, you are as hard, what do, what do we say here in, in Australia? As hard as tin tacks, right? Mm -hmm hard you are one hard woman there no was soul. no no compassion no like nothing yeah nothing tipper i was drawn more to her. i was drawn to her you know because she was like she was there and she was talking away to everybody but yeah she Hillary was clinton one of the most evil horrible like yeah. the hot the most horrible horrible energy and I actually stepped back because they said to me would you like to meet her I said no thank you no I didn't want to be I didn't want to touch her hands uh no I didn't want it no now no. here's an interesting question that you bring Hillary Clinton up I've heard from people that she's not 100% human and that she's been on this earth for a really long time and she was a beast that yeah. had, that had yeah. she's like, she's like a demon, basically. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But yeah. this is what I was yeah. saying to people. It's like what they've done is that they've actually created, created beings that look human that are housing their energy. So then they don't have a God-given soul. No. They are housing this, this evil energy and they're walking among us. Yep. Yep. So when you get a gut feeling about somebody that you don't like them, you have to listen. Acknowledge You're that, getting yeah. it for a reason. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 yeah absolutely. No, I, I, I still don't know if she's on our earth or not, or have, I know that she's not, she's, she's been locked. I mean, she, I know she's not able to do anything. She's, if she's still alive, she's being kept prisoner, but you know, I okay, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm getting and it's, it's like, what I'm getting is that it's like, she's half here, but half not like they're keeping her alive. Like, I don't know, but it's like, she's half here, but half not. So this is what I've heard is that she's, and I don't know if this is true. This is what I've heard that yes. she's actually, her body is in Greenland and they brought her to the point of death, but they're keeping her alive. So she can't do anything that because she's so demonic that only a special person or God or an angel will be able to actually is what I've heard. 
well, wouldn't that would that make sense with what I got? Yeah, she's but, half here. She's half here, but she's half not. Yeah. So, yes, they've got so her. After, she can't do anything. She can't hurt anybody. She's not. She's yeah. incapacitated, but she's still technically yeah. her body because they can't technically take her out. And a, a, a being that matches her power on the other side, on the positive side, has to be the one to take her out. Is what I was okay, that like. This is like this is really weird because it's like what boy okay well i have to say it because that's what i got okay yeah all right i'm gonna say it okay um so it's like what i got was lucifer's wife yeah that's kind of little that's kind of what people have said yeah really yeah she's yeah which little yeah. was the first woman created but left the garden of eden and, and mated with with lucifer and she's part of the trinity of luciferianism right okay all right. Okay. What I know, so, what I know, and I've never experienced Luciferianism, but from what I understand, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like me, like me, like me either. Now, what I've got with this in regard to this, like battle, is that I've got a whole new world. Yeah, I've got a whole new world. But we've got something to do with reaching the reaching financial goals. Things, yeah. things being built to do with the finances. It's not quite finished yet whatever that is all about, yeah? Um, but we're bringing in that death energy. So, again, I've got to go back to the month of August, yeah, because that's very strong for the death. Um, we're bringing in a lot of determination um, around this battle. So it's like, you know, and they're going like this. So there's like an energy force, an energy force field that's going to be pushing things back. Yeah. So... So, oh God, help me with this, okay? Um, so, so what they're showing me is that they're showing me like, like an energy force that's coming in to try to destroy, but then there's this energy force that just pushes it out, right? right. With such incredible force that it's like that it's it blo like it blows it out of the water. So whatever this energy force is, this other energy force comes in and it's, okay, all right, yep, okay, yep, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so the energy force comes in with a force of 10, but our from here, from our side, it's a force of 100 that just, and, it just, and it's just going to blow them, blow them away because it's like they didn't realise the power then it's going to take a time of mourning, yeah, and a time of um, of going into isolation and healing, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but then things are going to get into balance, yeah. So while we go while we go into this period of time of this isolation and mourning, then it's like they're working on bringing in the balance. Yes. And, and, do, you re and do you remember, um, did you ever watch the movie Cleopatra with um, Elizabeth Taylor? I've seen parts of it, um, but I haven't okay. seen anything. There was this thing where, the, where they actually um, had her sitting up on this throne yeah. and it was on this and they were carrying it on their, and they were on their shoulders, they were carrying it, yeah. They're just showing me Donald Trump up on one of these. So to me it's like he's like yeah, victorious, yeah, he's yeah. victorious. Um, now, when things come into balance, it's then time to restructure the business world. Right. Of course. All right. Yeah. We're on the old system. So, yeah. So that's going to come in and we're all going to be breaking from all of the restrictions. Oh, God, this is amazing. We're going to be breaking from all of the restrictions that have been around us. And they're saying to me that this has been for um, 8,000 years if that makes any sense. Yeah, it does. But it goes back 8,000 years and we're actually being, we're all breaking free of all of those restrictions from like 8,000 years ago. Yeah. Right? And, yeah. Then, and then they've said to me, and we also have to look at 800 years ago. Okay. So 8,800.
13th century yeah okay okay we've got to go back there yeah we've got it we've we have to go back there um we have a lot of um we've got the energy of of everybody standing in their power so everybody has got to get who they really are like their powerful energy but they're talking to me here about um it's like, oh, and again, it's this energy field. Bloody hell. I mean, sorry. Um, You're fine. It, <laughs> it's like, it's like there's going to be like this, this, uh, you're talking to me, it's like we're all going to have like an energy field. I believe. So, I believe oh, I believe my I God. Believe. Okay. So what they just said to me is that we'll all be able to read each other's energies. Yes, yeah. My boyfriend yeah. says yeah. that though. he thinks we're going to get to the point where we're going to just be able to know people the minute we see them. So, yeah, I think I think the law of one even mentions that as well, that we will know. Like, we will, like, look at somebody and be like, you're bad immediately without even having to question our gut. We'll just see it. Our, yeah, the yeah, yeah. We'll be able to yeah. see because they're talking to hear about, about, about the energy field, yeah? yeah, that we'll have energy fields. Um, and then they're talking about... Oh, okay. So then there's going to be some sort of a change again, but this change that will come in will be like the cutting away of the, the last remaining dregs. So, okay, okay, yeah, all right, yep, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Okay, so what they're saying to me with this is, is that, yeah, okay, cool. They just said to me, listen, it's like this. Rome wasn't built in a day, okay? Right. So we can't expect him to come in and once this happens that everything's going to be hunky-dory, right? So it's like it's going to take time and things will be done in steps. But then when we get to a certain step, then what we're doing is that we're cutting away all of the dregs. So all of that is being released and let go of. And then what we have is that we have total peace and harmony. Well, how about that? That's And that aligns with the level of revelation because we'll get our new bodies. We'll get, well, like new bodies. Like our bodies will then be able to, to yeah. And I've always, I tell my students all the time that your, your whole being, your energetic body doesn't fit inside of your physical body. It goes outside of it. It goes like out. It is, yeah. And so I yeah. think that's what, like, you'll see that. Well, you'll see the auras and see the whole essence of who a person, who a being really is, besides yeah. just the meat suit, as you say, the meat suit that we that we yeah. have on, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's, I can't, I mean, how lucky are we to be alive for this? You know, this is amazing. So amazing. It's so amazing. amazing. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I think, but then I found that we found us for those of us. Okay, okay. have a good spot. Have a good spot. What? What? The, 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 they're interfering. The bad guys? Can you hear? No. Can, what can you hear? You can't hear? Okay. Uh -uh. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, bugger. It's like they've stopped. They've stopped. Oh, we're on to something then. <laughs> we're on, yeah, we're on to something because it was like it was really like a like a demonic voice yeah uh, that doesn't okay. strike. i mean there was that one week where we kept trying to communicate and the system wasn't working yeah it happens with a lot of people like when they just are trying desperately to stop us from like talking about this you yes. know yeah. okay. this is exciting this isn't fearful yeah. and they know they're doomed yeah. they, but they don't want people to know that they want to keep up this facade in the hopes that it'll flip to their narrative but it's not going to you no. know it's, it's not the light wins the light shines the darkness out yeah. so yeah. so yeah I, this is so exciting um oh. and i know people were saying we, we listened to michael J jaco talk about how september is kind of like when they're going to really be enforced and so people ask me about that but that's why i'm so glad because we're talking about how august is going to be like the pivotal point because we we're, we're not going to get to that place where human beings are forced against their will to have something happen to them like that. Yeah, but the thing, but the thing is, you know, as I said to you before, it's like, we're getting, we're getting the protein <laughs> stuff anyway. Yeah. So we're, we're getting the blood, the blood clots, the heart, everything, the messing with the DNA. 
we're yeah. getting that just by walking around and being around people that have had it. So, so is- all we've got to do is get onto some pine needles. <laughs> and nature's, nature's remedy. Right, and whistle Dixie, right? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> have so a guess what, guys? Mm. God wins. Yep, you yep. got it. Yeah, and I am so it. I know it's getting late for you. So, and it's early for me over here in Atlanta, but I know it's getting late for you. I'm so happy we could do this today. I, I hopefully we can do this again in a couple of weeks or something and see where we are. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. We will. Yeah. Not yeah. a problem. So, um, so again, it's like I've extended, right. And it's like, and with my business manager, I said, is it okay if I extend the discount for people who want to do the readings mm-hmm. and he's gone. Yep. Like, not a problem, he said, until until you need to not do it, you know, until people, you know, he said it just stays for um, Bryce's people. So, you know, it's still $90 off. But people are funny because they, they send a message and they go, I put it through, but it's put through as $350, not $270. And I email them back and I go, no, it's like on your bank statement, it will show 270 American dollars, but yes, I said it's yes. 350 Australian. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Australian yeah. America so, both use a dollar as their. So, yeah. So, yeah, yeah that's a good yeah. point, guys. Don't confuse yeah. that with the Australian dollars. So, yeah. Oh, I love yeah. Australian money because it's plastic. I love the fact that you can't rip it. <laughs> so, and it's pretty. <laughs> Our money is pretty, but that's all soon to go. I know. I know. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. I'll let you head to bed because I know it's getting late for you. And I, again, guys, I will put everything down in the description box below that we've talked about. So you can just pop in the description box, email tomorrow. You can look at all the websites share it with your friends, all this beautiful insight that Tamara has given us, share it with your friends and family so that we uh, stay safe and healthy during this very exciting time. Yeah. And another thing, it's like if your listeners have got friends and family that they feel would benefit from having their charts done, it's the same price for them. They just have to mention that they've come through Esoteric Atlanta. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Okay. okay yeah. it's all about it's all about helping yeah it's all about you. helping service to others we, we we love you so much um as my favorite spiritual teacher who is no longer with us anymore ram Dass, he had a very famous quote where he used to say we're all walking each other home we're oh, all i love home. that we're all just walking each other home oh i love that but have a guess before you go have a guess what i found in a drawer what and it was in my house that i've got like in the country town here in in victoria i found a glass square that was like cut off on the bottom so it actually sits and it's from trump tower and it's got his coat of arms in there right inside this little glass like block and it's got um, Trump, New York. So inside the glass is this white etching. How about that? What a sign. What a sign for What the- a sign. What a sign. And I remember I purchased it at Trump Tower when I dropped off his charts, his chart readings. I'm sure he knows all about you. I think he watches all of our stuff. So I'm sure he is. I'm sure we'll all get to meet him one day and hug him and thank him for, you know, being, being, for being, for being, for being, for being the soul that he is and for having the guts and, you know, and this particular video that I watched uh, today, I watched it again and, you know, and he said, you never, ever, ever give up, never give up. And that's, and that's like my motto in my life. I have never, ever given up. Keep no going. matter how hard it's got, no matter how low I've fallen, it's like, nope. No matter what people have tried to do, nope. You know, and I'm also saying to people at the moment, listen, it's like, and we talk about, I've got a tattoo and I've got a tattoo and it's on, it's on my tush. Yeah, and um, and it's two T's. I nearly screamed the place down when I had it done. <laughs> and it's like, and people said to me, it's like, what does it mean? What does it stand for? And I said, Teflon T. 
And they went, what do you mean Teflon, Teflon T? I go, nothing sticks to me. People can say whatever they like about me, you know. I said, it just never sticks. I'm Teflon. I'm Teflon T. Oh, that's, that's, and look, he was preparing you for this moment because here we are. And I am so happy. Like, it is, this is so exciting. And I will yeah. say, with Trump saying never give up, somebody quoted in the birthday video, somebody had a really good quote, the guy from London. He said, in order for evil to exist, a good man does nothing. And That's he's, it. Doing he's doing something. And, and, um, and we're all doing something. And we're, we're all, all doing something. You know, somebody oh. gave the analogy of like us all like Trump up front. And we're like riding on horses into, into, into battle, you know, together. Yeah. Um, and there's yeah. More- yeah, and you know, and the thing is, is I, you know, as I'm explaining to everybody, I said our energy, and this is why when I got the whole thing of the globe and doing the the choker ray or doing the Hawaiian symbols, this is what the planet is needing at this particular point in time for us all. And if you know people that do Reiki, if you know people that do. Um, you know, like any form of, of healing at all, or, you know, all of the people that studied in Hawaii um, doing um, all of the Hawaiian symbol work, this is about an energy. This is about an energy force. And once we're all doing this all the time, every night before we go to bed, everybody's going to benefit from this healing that we're putting into the globe, you know, putting into the planet. Yeah. All right, on that note, I'm going to bed. <laughs> well, it was okay. so awesome having you. Have sweet, sweet dreams tomorrow. We will talk to you very, very soon. <laughs> All right, and love to that love to that man of yours. He's I'll gorgeous. Tell him. I'll absolutely tell him. Love okay. you. All right. Bye, Bye. darling.